Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to take a look at the new, this is the new MacBook Air, and um, this is the new MacBook Air with the M1 chip, and this is the base model. The only thing that's been upgraded on it is the hard drive to 512. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look at some 8K footage, and what we're going to do first is we're going to see how the 8K footage plays um, just right off of the card. Uh, so let's just go ahead and take a look at the footage now and I'll pick a clip and we'll see what it does. So this is reading off of this SD card reader here and let's go ahead and pull it up. So let's see how it plays. And it's playing it back perfectly. It's not dropping any frames, which is great. And let's go ahead and look at another clip. See how this one goes. And it's playing it back perfectly. On my other Mac computer, it would be dropping frames a little bit. And on here, on this computer, um, it's working great. And you can see it's playing the, the frames back. Everything is good. And uh, yeah, it's playing the frames back perfectly fine. So we'll go ahead and open up a, a new project in Final Cut Pro and see how it does with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop some clips in and see how it does. So you can see here, you have better quality and better performance. I'm gonna leave it at better quality. Okay, so the import is complete. So let's go ahead and play the clips. Let's go full screen. Everything is fine there. Let's scrub around the thing a little bit. Yeah. Playing it back, everything working perfectly. No drop frames. And we're able to play it in its full resolution, which is great. It's working perfectly fine. So you can go ahead and edit the clips, no problem. It's working great. Also, let's take a look at these clips. So we can see they are 8K, 2398. Let's go ahead and export this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a master file and see, so you can see it's a 22 gigabyte file, so it's pretty big. And you can see, of course, it's 8K. And we will just um, see how long it takes. I use the Canon EOS R5 to make the clips for today's video, and I have to say I'm really impressed with this camera. I'm in the middle of uh, doing a review of this camera, and I was having a real hard time with editing the footage, but using this new MacBook Air and also the new Mac Mini uh, with the M1 chip, it's just editing the footage like perfectly. No problem whatsoever. And right now I've just been using uh, the V90 SD cards. Uh, you can use uh, the CF Express, but I'm not using those. Um, so let's go ahead and get back to the review. And it took about two minutes to render this footage out. And here it is. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it now. And as you can see, it's playing it back just like the uh, the raw clips. And it's playing them back perfectly. It renders out a uh, ProRes file. And the computer is handling it no problem. Everything is working great. So getting back to the original topic, uh, if you are... Thinking about using uh, one of these computers to edit 8K footage, especially from the Canon R5, um, it will work no problem. Uh, this is the IPB uh, codec that I've been working with. Uh, that's the uh, only codec that you can use in 8K uh, with the V90 SD cards, and it works great. So there's my first look at the um, MacBook Air editing 8K footage. 
And be sure to like, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful day.